Hello friends, welcome to Laptex. My name is Nasser and uh, today uh, we have a Acer motherboard and uh, where there is a no 19 volt and uh, very hardly I have seen this types of motherboard. You can see here and uh, I don't think that uh, we will be having the schematic of the this particular model and if we get the schematic not necessarily we will get the daughter board schematic. So today this video I am making only for you if you don't have the schematic how you can follow the voltage rail so this is the place so as you can see here this is the part number is written jm41 or also uh, this is called 08266-2 and uh, made in taiwan very hardly you will see the motherboard made in taiwan usually the made in china uh, motherboard you get so this is the acer i think uh, Celeron or dual core processor uh, which is the SOC also. Now you can see that uh, this is the PCH and GMCH, ICH and GMCH chip and uh, this is the processor and this is the both RAM module. Now what I need to do here first, uh, so let me inject the DC power supply into the motherboard and uh, now you can see that uh, there is a no any fluctuation, no any remarkable load is uh, given on the power supply in this way we can say that uh, our 19 volt is not entering into the motherboard so now let's check uh, this video i am just making if you don't have schematic of particular motherboard so how can you repair that how can you follow the specific diagram like uh, charging IC diagram or 3.3 volt and 5 volt regulator diagram through that even you can repair provided that you need to have the basic concept of internal logic of the every specific IC. So having known that specific IC then only you can conclude that uh, what could be the reason behind that, that you are not getting the voltage or appropriate voltage which you are required in the motherboard it should be over there. So let's find out. So it seems that uh, it is very old and uh, the watermark or you can say this is the very rusty area and uh, as I am injecting the voltage on the source we are getting 19 volt and on the drain we are not getting the voltage and uh, on the gate we are getting the 19 volt. So even if it is the N channel or P channel in either condition my MOSFET is not going to turn on if this situation is remain same like uh, on the source uh, if we are getting the 19 volt and uh, if on the gate we are having the 19 volt same so in this way we can say it is the P channel MOSFET because uh, the di direction of the internal short key diode we can say that uh, it is uh, a P channel MOSFET without checking anything because we as I have told you that I haven't seen the, this model before so maybe there could be the diagram but I haven't opened it I will show you that how you can repair this types of problem. So ultimately on this sensing register we need to get the 19 volt or DC in voltage but we are not getting on this point. So for your reference uh, let me find out as you can see on the on the motherboard daughter board this is max 8731 AIC is here so let me uh, find out in the google and uh, you just download it from here let me save it so let's bring it out open it so this is the IC and what I have to find out that uh, which is the DC in and uh, the requirement of uh, the charging IC. Dildar sir has described all the things regarding the charging IC that what is the function of the charging IC and uh, there are the so many uh, difficult terminology has been used over there like uh, you can say that ILIM pin function, how SDA works, how SCL works and uh, also there is the I OT and I in there are the so many things are there but this is the old IC we have described you in our video uh, from the old IC to the newer newer newest IC because uh, what is happening over here like as you can see here there are the so many uh, signals 
which has been combined into the motherboard in the latest generation. So as you can see in the schematic that uh, it is having 28 pin but the latest uh, IC is coming with the less pin like 20 pin or 24 pins. So what is happening over there that uh, like these two pins has gone inside, inside the IC. So that is why they have reduced the pin configuration. In this way, uh, it is very Herculean task for you to, uh, to find out that what is the actual problem in the motherboard. So what you have to check, this is the very basic fundamental thing I am describing you today. DC in on the 22 number pin, we have to check first. Then after we uh, need to get here the AC in voltage and then we will expect the LDO. If we get the LDO, then we can understand that the, our buck regulator is working inside the charging IC and then we will get the AC OK signal as per the logic of the charging IC. Maybe it could be high, it could be low. So it, it will be described in the internal section where uh, the internal logic has been given like this is the what we we have introduced in our video course that all things all individual pins uh, regarding from the dc in section and at the last uh, is the battery output section each and every pins has been described individually so if you take the charging IC concept video, if you have problem in the charging section, then you can avail particular charging section video and the charging video contains uh, 12 hour with 6 videos. So you can also avail that if you are having any problem or a dot, dot full in the charging section. So let's begin to check in this particular motherboard. Let's come now here and check the 22 number pin as I have told you we are expected here so 20 volt 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 14 21 22 so we are not getting the dc in voltage but now you can as you can see on the schematic that uh, for the dc in a diode is given over here so we are not having the diagram we are having the diagram of only max 8731 and uh, a very uh, normal basic structure has been given that this if this IC is used then this particular helping and auxiliary component must be over there. So as we are seeing here that a diode is used over here we need to check this diode. So this diode is on this point so if you calculate it now the, you can see the track following the track you can reach on the diode terminal so on the cathode we are not getting 20 volt let's check on the anode so also we are not getting on the anode in this way we cannot find out that uh, where this anode pin is connected so what you have to do you have to do a indian jugad so let me demonstrate you how we can do this first of all you have to bypass the diode so diode it's something here it is used only to filter the current i just don't want to let it filter so what you have to do you have to make a jumper wire here okay i have removed this one and what i will do here as i have uh, uh, demonstrated you that uh, my 19 volt is present on this point so on the diode as well as on the source of the mosfet so anywhere you can connect it anywhere so let me jumper it so let me jumper on this point okay and what you have to do and not to cathode make a jumper wire here so let me jumper to the anode to cathode so these are the requirements you need to know that where you can make this types of manageable work because uh, uh, in order to make any types of jugar uh, you are required the basic concept at least So my one soldering iron is not working properly. So 
I can change the diet even or I can use the diet but the diet is very small so I rather prefer and uh, if you ask me that uh, why I am connecting both terminal because the one terminal is is required to generate the AC in supply that is why otherwise I could have connected it on the on the cathode terminal only but if as soon as I will connect it on the cathode terminal what will happen the anode terminal is connected with the AC supply AC in supply so AC in will not be generated in this way LDO we will not get and if we do not get the LDO then we will again not get the AC OK AC OK is the supply which helps to reduce the voltage from the P channel gate volt uh, gate uh, terminal so you are required less voltage to the source as the P channel is required in order to switch on so for the switching also you can take a video from us all the switching concept like uh, diet switching MOSFET switching BJT switching and uh, uh, op-amp switching each and everything we have described in the switching section only so let me inject the DC in and now you can see that uh, board is on because the RTC is missing in this motherboard and uh, let's you can off it from here and uh, this is the on off switch so let's turn it on now you can see it is turning on and uh, without RTC it will on also now you press off and on again so it is working fine so I hope friends you have uh, enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any confusion in the DC in section if you have uh, any confusion in the MOSFET section, BJT section, uh, OPAM section, uh, Zener diode section, any type of switching you can avail a specific particular video for that. And uh, if you want to enhance your charging uh, experience, if you want to improve your charging section, then you can take the charging video from us. So uh, if you have any query, if you have any dots, you just contact on the given number and uh, please like the video as much as possible and share it on your common groups and uh, I would like to request you to subscribe our channel because uh, we time to time upload the latest uh, information of the motherboard so uh, also press the bell icon button so that you will get notification from the video and uh, thank you guys keep on loving like this Thank you, thank you for watching this video.